What is scrolly telling? Scrolly telling is the most effective way to present a visual concept to someone through their phone, tablet, or computer. Really, it's a way not just to inform your audience, but to engage them using interactive visualizations. Telling stories this way makes our visualizations the center of attention. So instead of seeing a wall of text on a web page and scrolling right by the awesome visualization that we made, our audience gets treated to the experience of being walked through the visualization as it's updating and reacting. Let's see just how much better a story is when presented with scrolly telling. Let's compare two ways of telling this story. Which politicians are winning on Twitter? First, I'll use a classic static web page and then a version where I use scrolly telling. Here's our static story. We start out with a combination of text and a perfectly nice looking chart showing how two politicians stack up over time. Not bad, just a bit boring. We're just getting started and we've probably lost half our readers. Now we've got another text block combined with a map showing popularity in a different way. This page has some impressive visualizations, but they're probably going to go to waste because the story just isn't that interesting when presented this way. So let's do better. Let's look at the same story where we use scrolly telling to pull our audience into the story that we're telling. Let's have another look at that first chart. Here, as the user scrolls, all of the distractions on the page are pulled away and the most important points are highlighted. As you can see, once we get away from the static web page architecture, there's so much more that the visualizations can do. We can update them to emphasize the points that we want to get across, as we do here. And let's look at how the map visualization gets transformed. Instead of just blowing by our explanations, we get to ensure that the most interesting points that we're making are emphasized, and the user goes away hearing the story that we're trying to tell. I love this format because this way of experiencing a story is so much closer to having the author in the room with you, telling the story they want to tell it, and than the classic web page. So why learn how to do this? With more and more people adding to the number of web pages every day, it's essential to stand out. Scrolly telling can do that for you. With this tool, you can completely transform your writing into an experience for your readers. All you need to do is let go of the outdated format that everyone else is using to leave your competition in the dust. Let me show you just how simple the setup is. To see how it works, let's talk about one of 2016's most surprising phenomena, DJ Khaled. I could tell you all the facts that I know about DJ Khaled, but instead I got a little crafty so you really absorb this information. There he is. Here we go. Ooh, what a fact. Now, have a closer look at this haircut. Yeah, I'm 80% sure that's true. Now, look at this lion. Honestly, I love his look. I'm jealous. All right, let me try to explain how we get a presentation as beautiful as that to work on a web page. What we've got here are two HTML elements working together. An article element, this is where all of the text goes, and we have a figure element for holding our illustration. We'll hold our illustration in the center of the page as we drag or scroll the article element over by using some clever bits of code. Now, as I pointed out in the earlier example, using this structure allows us to do some things we just couldn't with a static web page. For one thing, we can update the figure as we talk about it. For example, in this story, we really have three versions of the same image. The first is just the album cover. The second has this annotation pointing at DJ Khaled. And the third is pointing out the lion. Now, let's see how this simple design works on the web. I'll just scroll through it, and you can see that we can translate this presentation perfectly to the web. Okay, and the last thing I'll show is a sneak peek behind the scenes at how the figure and article elements interact here. The figure element is held in place 
and is updated at each step, while the article element is scrolled over top. That is beautiful. Well, that's it for this video. If you want to learn how you can take advantage of the web browser to be a better storyteller, check out my Scrolly Telling course. Check out the comments for details. I teach you how to use the Scrollama JavaScript library, along with some CSS and HTML, to transform your web pages into experiences. I focus on giving you code that's ready to use and passing on the essential bits of knowledge that lets you spend your time telling kick-ass stories and less time fiddling with code. Thanks, everybody. See you soon.